What up, it's your boy T-Bird here with a reaction and here with another top 10 anime. This was for the ladies. Now, this one is top 10 deadliest little girls in anime. Now, another thing that anime is good for is having some little girls who are not so innocent. Some are either wild and crazy, some are dangerous, some are wild and crazy, some might actually kill you. So, let's come across this one. Top 10 Deadliest Girl Anime. This was made. Let me see, just a little reminder. Like, I always got a reminder when it was made. This was made uh, December 8th of 2016. So, any ones after that will not be included, including the one I would love to see on here, which is Tanya the Evil. The, ad, the manga was, or the manga was out, but the anime wasn't out at until like the beginning of, of uh, 2017 of January, though. So, she will not be on this. So let's check it out and see the top ten deadliest girl, little deadliest little girls in anime. Let's go. Their cue is a button, and they'll tear you to ribbons. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the oh, top ten deadliest will be on here. girls okay. in anime. I wasn't sure when was, I wasn't sure when Glistener came out. Ah shit! For this list, we're looking at female characters who are small in stature and big on carnage. Mm -hmm. They may look adorable and non-threatening, but that could be your ultimate downfall. Also, we'll be looking into spoiler territory oh. with one or two of these entries, so just a heads up in that regard. That part still fucked up, but whatever. Number ten, Mariko Kurama. I don't feel lie. No, I uh, no figure. I figured somebody from there would be on this. Our first force of nature on this list is so dangerous, she spent her whole life locked away in a high security facility. Mariko has a very powerful set of vectors that she can use to annihilate almost anything in she her has path. No, she won't have a left or right arm. Due to all the experiments on her body, she can barely move on her own, using a wheelchair most of the time. Still, she has no problem killing and puts very little value in human life. She's seen crazy, just rolling and rolling in low chill like that. It's like, how she? Number nine, LP Peru, Mobile Suit Gundam Double Zeta. <laughs> Peru is an artificially enhanced Neo type version. who first appears fighting for the Neo Zeon before defecting to the AEUG for her surrogate sibling, Judo Ashta. LP may seem like a troublemaking nuisance, but just put her behind the controls of a mobile suit, and everything changes. <laughs> She's a whiz at mobile suit combat and pilots hers with the skill of a well-seasoned veteran. As one of the best pilots in the AEUG, she's a bundle of energy you shouldn't underestimate on the battlefield. Mm. Number eight, Beatrice. Re Zero. Zero. That's no sub. No dub version came out yet. Size matters not when it comes to your skills in magic. Despite her stature, Beatrice is over 400 years old. As a result of this, her skill in magic is almost second to none, and there are plenty of ways she can use it to kick some ass. <laughs> However, it's making a contract with her that makes her a potentially deadly ally. Okay. Beatrice's power is undeniable, so maybe a little monosapping isn't so bad, is it? <laughs> Nice. Number seven, cruel, seraph of the end. Um, okay. Oh god, she's sick. Thanks to her vampiric powers, this girl clocks in at over two thousand years old. Wow. That alone makes her pretty deadly to anyone who might cross Damn. her path. Age, experience, and a lot of power have earned her the title of Queen of Japan in her world. Mm. <laughs> Several have challenged her claim to the role of queen, and Cruel always puts those naysayers in their rightful place at her feet. Anyone who would poke fun at her inappropriate outfit and pink hair would be cautious oh, not to, lest he they suffer her she wrath. She fucked him up. <laughs> Number six, Ibana, Dead Man Wonderland. Ooh. I am the commander Holy of the third shit. Is that a sword? I'm here because you... I've been a very naughty boy. Ooh! The title Undertaker. That's a big-ass never expected this one. The product of an abusive parent, Ivana developed a very twisted sense of justice. 
Prior to her posting at Deadman Wonderland, she was documented as torturing a fellow student who played a prank on her in school. Whoa. Unsettling, to say the least. Hibana is one of the most terrifying horrors awaiting anyone who is unlucky enough to visit Dead Man Wonderland. Someone get in the way! Oh, shit. Number five, Aluka. Hunter X Hunter. Okay, Dad! So. Aluka might seem like the most harmless entry on the Oh, what the fuck? She's here for a reason. Not only does she have a second personality called Nanika, but she has the ability to grant any wish, no matter how great. What the hell? This definitely comes with a drawback, however. With every wish granted, Aluka asks for more in return from each successive wishmaker. If these demands aren't met, death is almost certain, not just for the target, but for their loved ones as well. Number four, Kana Inuyasha. Sometimes it's the quiet ones that turn out to be the deadliest. As always. Kana may bear the resemblance of a ten-year-old girl. She is, however, in fact, a detachment of the demented demon Naraku. Ooh. Armed with a mirror that can reflect Inuyasha's most powerful attacks, Kana mm. proves to be a nigh unbeatable opponent for our heroes. Oh, She seldom speaks, and when she does, her words have impact. Demon and cutie pie, Kana is just straight up creepy. You must hurry. Number three, Sengoku Nariko, Monogatari series. The chick with the snake head. It's tough being a girl in love in school. For a Sengoku Nariko, that comes with an unfortunate curse, one, I think. Ever since she rejected the love of a fellow classmate, Nariko has had a snake curse that threatened her life. Yup, a family was younger. While she does manage to stave it off, the curse still manages to try to conquer her mind, and thus she begins a slow spiral into madness. When it finally takes over, Nariko goes from shy to despair-driven crazy. Then she can even use the snakes that she once feared to take on former companions. Mm. Number two, Mume, Cabaneri of the Iron Fortress. Oh, shit. When the world goes to hell during a zombie apocalypse, you want to be surrounded by the best survivors. Mume is surprisingly one of those. The reason she's got such an amazing also, edge against the undead Gase, Kabane I think Gase may have to do with the fact that she's a Kabane I think the herself, prom mob balls sort of. should be on her, too. Mmm. Man, she's coming with Damn! Only underwent an operation to become stronger, and thus became a half Kabane, half human hybrid known as Kabaneri. This girl knows no fear and will often jump head first into an onslaught of Kabane and tear through them single handedly. Damn! Before we reveal our time, here are a few honorable mentions. Of course, Prince, of course, party, all oh, shit. Ariana. Ooh, shit. Sugar. Okay. Number one, Ilya, Fate Stay Night, Unlimited Blade Works. So, are you all done chatting? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, Ilya, she used to be such a happy little girl. That optimism, that smile. How could this little girl be our number one pick? First, the loss of both her parents following the Holy Grail War mentally broke her. And second, mm -hmm. in search for answers, Ilya also gained a giant sized servant in Berserker. Time to kill you. Okay, go get them, Berserker. I'm to kill you. Yeah, Ilya's crazy. troubled mind makes her believe that anyone can bow to her whim. And if you don't get in line, she'll have Berserker mow you down with the smile on her face. Gosh, what nimble prey. I think I'm going to add two more just for you. Oh, wow. oh come on! Do you agree with our list? Which mm -hmm. tiny but deadly menace is your number one choice? <laughs> oh, she's going More away. characters spotlighting top tens published every day. Be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. What? Uh, oh. What do you want me to say to someone who's going to die here in the next few minutes? Oh. 
Yeah, this is pretty good. This is pretty good right here. Good lineup list though. Again, wish was me a little later. I hope they do like another top ten um little girl deadliest little girl one. So they add uh tying the tying of the evil in there as well as the crowd mob the, the mob boss and um the gangster as well too. But this is pretty good. This is very pretty good right here. I like, could the list on there. But um and the new the little girls seem like they was no joke for real. More than that, if you like my reaction, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page. It's your boy T-Bear signing off. One love.